In this video, I'm going to add a simple text attribute to Magento. You can do that in the catalog manage attributes tab. And I'm going to add a simple text attribute, which is the same type of attribute as the product name is and skew. So I'm going to click add new attribute in the top right corner. As I'm selling books on this website, I'm going to call it ISBN because I need an ISBN code for each product I add on the site. I'm going to set the scope to global, which means the value or input for the ISBN code will exist across all websites that might be added to the Magento installation. Obviously, if I wanted to possibly change on a per website basis, I'll choose website there and say I'll choose store view if I wanted to change on a per store view basis. Um, the input type is going to be a text field, so it can be different every time. When I create the product, I just enter it into the text field. No default value, and it doesn't have to be unique between products. Um, it could be, but in this instance, I'm just going to say no. Um, I'm going to make it so the value is required. So if you're adding a book, you have to enter an ISBN number. Um, input validation for store owner. So I could potentially limit this to letters or numbers because the ISBN code is always letters and numbers. And I'm going to apply it to all product types. You can click selected product types here and choose to only have it applicable to certain products but I'm not entirely sure what the makeup of my products will be yet so I'm going to leave it to all product types and leave it completely open. Um, using quick search would be a good idea so if someone was on the front end of the site they wanted to search for that ISBN number using the quick Magento search then obviously it will show up straight away. Um, I'm not going to use it in the advanced search because I don't think it's really appropriate in this instance to do that. And I can set it to yes to show in the product compare. I'm happy with that. The other parts are blank type because it can't be filtered down by ISBN. Um, not going to use it for any promo conditions, so I'll leave that as no. I don't need to show any HTML tags on the front end. I can leave it as yes just in case I want to put some extra HTML in there, but I'm pretty sure that's not going to be the case. Um, I do want it to be visible on the product view page, so I'm going to say yes. I may want to use it in the product listing at some point, so that's the category page basically. And I don't really need to sort it by the ISBN number, so I'm going to leave that as no. Okay, so that's everything on the first page done. There's also a manage label options tab on the left over here. So this is just the label for the attribute, so I'm just going to use capital letters this time, make it nice and readable, so ISBN, and then I'm going to click save attribute. And that's it, that's my attribute created. And um, they're in alphabetical order at the moment, so if I go to page one, there it is in my list.